In this world, my bike is my connection to the land, to the earth, to myself. When I ride, I feel free. I'm like a bird, I'll always fly away. Aw oh, damn, I think I just took a Nelly Furtado lyric. All right, so this ain't working. Let's uh, try something else. Hi, I'm Corey and I ride all the bikes. I got into street motorcycles a long time ago. When I started to go to racetracks and actually race, I quickly found I needed to do something to get fitter to wrangle those bikes around when going over 100 miles per hour. I decided to grab a road bike because I saw all the pros in MotoGP and World Superbike were doing it, so there must be something to it. Once I saw cycling wasn't bad, I somehow stumbled across mountain biking. I ended up taking an old hybrid out on some local trails and ended up crashing a lot, gas for air at every slight rise, but that day I became addicted to those bikes. I just started to ride all the bikes after that just because I found riding all the bikes just helped riding all the bikes. I'd ride the road so I didn't die riding up hills in the woods. I tried to clear the local dirt jumps at the skill park so I could clear stuff in the woods. At the end of the day, no matter what type of bike I swing a leg over, there's always something for me to learn about two wheels that can be translated to everything. The Rockburn Skills Park here in Maryland is pretty dope. You can get out to learn how to jump on some mellow jumps and then you can crank it up and throw some style on top of it on some bigger ones. The best part is that these jumps bring folks out from everywhere. I've ridden and hung out with folks of all ages, genders, races, and backgrounds out here and everybody just bonds immediately. When you're riding jumps, it's hard not to have some fun and get along with folks. With how many times I've been buzzed by cars on the asphalt, riding road just doesn't get me too amped up anymore. Gravel's a pretty good bridge between dirt and the tarmac. The vehicle traffic is minimal, the bikes are minimal, but the fun is still pretty maximal. With hundreds of miles of gravel riding out here in Leesburg, Virginia, I can get out to just cruise on the bike for hours on a solo mission or get out with a group of friends. It's a nice change of pace from the stress that riding other dirt disciplines can put on the body and gear. With plenty of bike shops, breweries, and cafes, it's still pretty easy to spice up a ride in any way that you see fit. Frederick Watershed is a pretty special place. For it being just an hour outside of the nation's capital, we are pretty lucky to have some properly unique trails out here. There's flow to be had in all the madness, but you have to work for it by bouncing between all the rocks, all the roots, and utilizing some carefully curated corners to catch you. With trails ranging from east coast cross country riding to proper downhill, there's something out here for every rider, every skill level, every mood, and every season. No matter how many times I get out here to ride, I always find myself leaving with a huge smile on my face. Just being able to ride these trails clean is a major accomplishment. It's an even bigger accomplishment when you can find some rhythm and flow in all the madness.
I just want folks to realize that they don't have to pigeonhole themselves to one specific cycling niche. There's plenty out there to have fun with, so you might as well have fun with them, as many as you can. Whether you want to go out to become a world champion one, or if you just want to go have some fun on all the bikes with your friends, at the end of the day, just go have some fun on the bikes.